Hello and welcome to the channel. If you think about it, the most powerful thing about this whole AI is that we give it a natural language prompt or question or query. It converts it into a format which is acceptable by either LLM or any other application. Similarly, now instead of typing a search query in a browser like Google or DuckDuckGo or any other browser, all we need to do is to just give an AI powered application like Perplexica, a natural language query that this is what I want. And then it is up to Perplexica to convert it into any format it uh, likes or accepts and then just give me the results back. One such backend which Perplexica uses is Seer XNG. Seer XNG is a meta search engine. A meta search engine is a search engine that aggregates results from multiple search engines and databases, providing a broader range of results in a single search query. For example, Google is a search engine, but Google uses its own index and algorithm to retrieve results. Whereas CRXNG uses Google plus various other search engines, indexes and algorithms, and then offer us more diverse results. So other do the hard work, CRXNG just grabs it and give it to us. Now, this Perplexica, which we already have covered on the channel, but I will do it again. We so this is an AI powered search engine, but this doesn't search anything by itself. I think this is a uh, bit of a misleading name here, search engine, because what this is doing is it is using large language models tool use or function calling to call a search engine or meta search engine like CRXNG and then getting the results back. So the part which Perplexica is playing is that it is taking our large language, uh, our query giving it to LLM, converting it into CRXNG compatible format or whatever uh, backend it is using and then getting the results back, collating them and giving us back. So that is what Perplexica is doing. So in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to install Perplexica. We are going to install CRXNG, the backend, the meta um, search engine. And then we are going to use local models run by Olama to do everything and to knit them together. So Perplexica will be using Olama based model and I will be using Llama 3.1, the latest one. And then whenever a user will give a search query to Perplexica, something like this, who is Elon Musk on the backend, first this natural query, natural language query will be converted to um, something keywords with the help of that Olama based Llama 3.1 and that will be given to CRXNG that is going to do the actual search. It is going to give the results back to Perplexica and then Perplexica will format it and give it back. So this is uh, the whole flow is. So first we will be installing it locally, everything, and then I will show you how it works. And of course it is all uh, private and you can just run it on your own network, maybe just expose it through proxy to the outside world and sky is the limit there. Before I show you the installation and we delve into this, let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to it in video's description and I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Let me quickly show you my terminal. So this is Ubuntu 22.04 and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First up, let me create a Conda environment to keep everything separate from a local system for the installation. And don't worry about all the commands. I'm going to put them in my blog and I will drop the link in video's description step by step. Okay, so Conda is done. Environment is done. We have activated it. Let's now install all the prerequisites which include Torch, Transformers and few other things, tidbits. Let's wait for it to finish. All the prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen. And now git clone the CRXNG. So first step, install CRXNG. Second step, install um, install Olama and then Perplexica. I already have Olama but I will show you how to do that. But first step, let's install um, the CRXNG 
and in that one i'm first cloning its repo and i'm seeding into it let's wait for it to finish and that is done and now just you would need to search for a file called as ls-ltr settings dot yaml okay this one the easier way is to just do this let me open it in vs code this is my vs code let's go to cr x directory here this one on the left let me clean up this vs code this is okay now in this one you if you scroll down here you will see that there should be a file called as settings.yml this one let's click on it and from here if you come down you will see that there is this search option keep coming down keep coming down and you will see that we have something called as formats in formats simply press enter here after html and then add another option json because all of these software talk with each other with api calls and json is the format these apis understand so let me save the file as you can see it is saved let me exit from here and that's all we needed to do in terms of configuration now the only prerequisites which you need here is that separately you should have docker installed I already have docker installed and this is my docker version so if you don't have docker please make sure to install the latest version if you don't know how to do it please search the channel I already have done a very easy to follow video on how to install a docker okay so docker is there first step let's um, set up the permission on the docker.soc file otherwise you will keep getting annoying errors and then let's run the docker.build command which is going to build the docker stuff here so let me run it and then you can ignore this warning this is about virtual environment we didn't create but we created conda so that is fine so let's wait for it to get installed and it is going to take a fair bit of time like three to four minutes so let's wait And that is all done. All the images are loaded here. Next command which we need to run is to just docker run and it is going to run the containers and let me run it. And that is all done. It should be running in the background. So if you go to now browser and access this port 32768, the default port of share XNG, then you will see something like this. So we have our share XNG running locally at port 32768 so you can just search whatever you like like who is Fahad Mirza it is going to go to internet and search for Fahad Mirza that who the Fahad Mirza is and that is not me by the way so you see that uh, even if you don't do anything else you have your own uh, search engine running uh, privately you can do uh, whatever you want and you can search it from the internet but anyway so our task is not finished let's go back to the terminal so our crxng is done let me clear the screen let's cd back here let's clear the screen now next step is to make sure that olama is installed if you don't know how to install olama i already have done a lot of videos on it but just to complete the loop go to olama's website click on download for linux again it's already selected just run this command copy it and run it and it is going to install olama on your local machine which is already there for us so I'm just going to show you that this is Olama list. So I already have two models present. One is Llama 3.1, which is a large language model. And then I have Nomic uh, embed text, which is an embedding model, which converts our text into uh, numerical representations or embeddings or vectors. If you don't have them, simply do Olama poll and model name, such as in this case, it is 3.1 and then it is going to pull it. So it's already there. So that's how easy it is to install Olama. Let me clear the screen. Now we are at the root. Now let's install Perplexica. So all I'm doing is I'm git cloning its repo and then I'm seeding into it, which is already done. Now at the root of this repo, just simply rename this file sample.config.toml to config.toml. That is done. And now let me um, just open it in the code editor in VS code 
and then you, all you need to do, sorry about this message this is just my ubuntu system so let me close this so now if you check it out this is our config.toml which we have just renamed in this one you don't have to worry about anything else and by the way if you want to run it with open ai with gronk you can also put their api keys here but we are just going to go with the free stuff so for that one i'm just going to go with this crxng is already present so we don't have to worry about it for the olama one let me put the value of the base url of olama which is normally the default one so i'm just going to put it here and if you're running olama in docker you can run that command but we are running it locally so i'm just going to go with this one let's press ctrl s here so both olama and crxng are done let me close this file and let me close this vs code okay now that said and done let's do the docker stuff here first let's set the permission of the docker file and then next up let's do docker compose up to start up the all the containers which are present here and you see that it is going to download those containers let's wait for it to finish and this is again going to take a few minutes so let's wait for it to finish and you can see that perplexica is also done now you can access it in your browser just like we did with the uh, crxng one so let me go to my browser here and then let me just say localhost at port 3000 this is the default port of Plex perplexic and you can see that it has uh, it has been able to detect that and everything is running fine now um, because we have olama running so we don't have to set any api key or anything and you can simply ask your query here and now for example if i ask it who is fahad mirza and then press enter it is going to use that crxng at the back end and then by using olama's model it is going to give me the answer back and there you go so there is our answer and then you can see that it is telling me who the Fahad Mirza and all that stuff. So see how easy it is to create your own AI powered search engine application by using a local model. Then if you're using Golama, of course, sky is the limit there. So we have used this here XNG for the meta search engine, Perplexica for AI powered search engine application and Olama for hosting all of these local models. And this stuff is running all locally and freely of course so i will drop all the commands in my blog and i will drop the link in video description uh, can i also request you guys to please subscribe to the channel if it helped you or if you liked it and if you're already subscribed do me a personal favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching